Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new budget motor. This came out like a month or two months ago. It's called the Hook LL motor or Hookel or I don't know what it's called. But anyways, it's a $10 motor. It's a 2205 motor, which is a 2300 kV. So overall, it's a budget-ish motor and I really wanted to get this to compare it with this guy. So this is the Razor Star 2205S 2300 kV and I really want to get a nice comparison because they're both in the same price category and they're considered budget 2205 class motors. Now, as you can tell here, it's a little bit different. It has a little PCB portraying out. This is where you would solder your wires. So it makes it overall easy to replace the motor if it gets damaged in any sort of way. And um, yeah, so that's pretty cool in that perspective. It does have a hollow shaft and on the bottom it has a C-clip if you needed to remove it or to clean it out. You have a little C-clip right there. The gaps are pretty good. They're not using arc magnets and the, you know, it feels pretty smooth. It does have a little notch here and there, but it's pretty overall. It's a very smooth motor here. So in theory, it should have less noise than other motors. So that's pretty good. Is it smoother than this guy? Uh, no, actually, the Racer Star is smoother here. They're both exactly the same weight with the with the wires, uh, 30 grams, and this is 28 grams. But when you add the wire, it's 30 grams. So they're both 30 grams here. So you know, enough talking. Let's get comparing. Alright guys, so the results are in. Now we tested the Racer Star 2205S versus the Hook LL the Hook LL motor. It's also 2205, they're both 2300 kV and they're both cheap as hell. So let's take a look here. Let's start with the dowel prop. Now this is the dowel prop test, the 5046 tri-blades. And if we could tell here, these are the you know full throttle results. And if we take a look, we have, let's go ahead and check this out. So the highest the Hook LL motor uh, got was 830 grams. So that's pretty insane at 31 amps of current. So that's pretty good actually for a $10 motor. That That's that's very good actually. Um, and if we take a look down here, the best result on the Dow prop with the Racer Star motor was 743 grams. So it's, it's about 100, the Hook LL is about 100 grams more powerful, but is that 100 or 90 grams worth the extra four amps? Well, that that's for you to decide, really. So uh, over here, it seems that the Hook LL is more powerful and draws a bit more current. Now, if we take a look at the vibrations, it seems that the Hook LL is more balanced, is better balanced than the Racer Star motor, uh, almost by half here. So that's that's something to also take note of. So for you know, they're both pretty good. They're and they're around the same class you know but let's and you know what let's actually take a look at the torque reading here and the torque is basically about the same i mean you know that's it so you're just going to look at the thrust here and the amp draw and pick whatever you think is best for you so the hook ll seems to be the more powerful motor we could say that right now and the more power hungry motor now let's take a look here now this is the king kong 5045 tri blades and if we take a look at the best sample from the Hook LL motor, which was 828 grams, and the Racer Star was 731 grams. Now, the Hook LL 828 grams was achieved with about 30 amps, 29.6 amps of current to get to 820. That's still pretty damn good, actually. That is very good for, for a little cheap 2205 class motor. That's insanely good, but you know, in real fight, it's going to be completely different, obviously. But you know, it's still pretty good. That's that's it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> that's all I could really say. So let's take a look at the Racer Star. It's uh the best result was seven hundred thirty one grams at twenty three amps. It's more efficient. It, in theory, it might give you more flight time, and the vibrations. It still seems to be the less balanced motor in terms of vibrations and you know balancing the whole bell inside from the manufacturer but overall i mean they're both 
pretty good motors. They're very cheap motors, and um, they weigh about the same. They perform almost about the same. I mean, they hook a little performing slightly noticeably better here on the thrust testing. And um, yeah, that's really it. That's all I could really say now until we build it or put it on a test quad and test it out. And overall, that's it, guys. So they're, they're, you know, their torque is about equal. They're about the same on the torque. But uh, I know actually on the hook LL, it's a little bit stronger, a tiny bit stronger uh, with the King Kong. You can see it's, it has more torque to push that around. So uh, the hook LL has a bit more torque and a bit more thrust and draws a bit more amperage, but is overall well balanced. So that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope it helped someone out there or was just useful to someone. And uh, if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And consider joining my Patreon. It really support the channel. We could really keep doing this and, and bringing in more products to test and all these kinds of things. And you could also use the affiliate links down below. Those greatly support the channel. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.